Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today I'm doing a bit of an experiment. I'm going to see if I can use Crayola crayons in my resin work because they're really, really cheap. Often you get them given to you at restaurants if you've got kids or if you go out with adults that are like kids, a bit like me. I love the colours. I'm not sure if they're going to work because as the resin heats up, it may melt the actual crayon itself and merge in. But that may, not, may look nice too. So stick around and watch this experiment. Hi everyone, don't forget to subscribe and like to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and tutorials and fun things that I do using resin. I've already cut my crayons up and what I did was I just shredded them using an X-Acto knife and it's really, really easy. So I just go around the piece of paper that's on the outside of the actual crayon itself. I take off the paper, which just pulls off like so. There is a bit of plastic sometimes that sticks to it. And then all I did, let's get that bit of paper. Then all I did was I just shaved down, trying to get them into the pot. And they cut quite easily. <laughs> but evidently I can't get any in the pot. <laughs> They've got a life of their own. And I chose five colours, but the bits do pick up ever so easy. So I'll pick these bits up and then we'll get on with the test. So I'm working on a silicon mat, which is brilliant for resin because the resin just picks off it and you can just chuck it in the sink, give it a wash of warm soapy water. And I'll be using some silicon measuring jugs because again you just turn them inside out when it's cured like so and the resin just peels off and you can just keep reusing them and reusing them and i do find the actual measurements on them are very accurate unlike some of the throwaway cups that you buy and i'll be mixing it with the silicon stir sticks what i'm going to try is the bangle and i'm using my little tiny jugs here with my resin in to try and make a little bit less mess than I normally make when I feel a bangle, because I am I, I'm still making a mess, to be honest. I am. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna partially fill it. Just check there's no air bubbles anywhere. So what I'm going to use is I'm just going to use my tweezers to pop some of this crayon in, and I'm not going to be using all one colour or anything. I'm just popping it in randomly. I suppose I could have used all one colour, but I want to test several of these. I don't think it will make any difference what colour they are. It's quite a warm day today here as well. My studio is quite warm. So I'm not sure if this crayon is already quite soft, but we have to deal, do what we've got to do when we've got to do it in the days that we've got to do it. And I'm sure none of that made any sense whatsoever. I'm just joking. <laughs> Gibberish as normal. So that's got enough now in that I think will be enough to fill it up. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm oh look how careful I'm being now. I'm just going around this to allow it to fill up the actual mould with resin. And then I will check on it again in about three or four minutes just to make sure that it's got enough on in and it hasn't sunk down and if any bubbles come up to the top i will burst those there we go so i'll just put that to one side and the next one i'm going to do is i want to try out a heart because then i'm going to see if i can drill it as well afterwards so the heart i'm going to be using is this one 
So I'm just going to put a bit of resin in there. And I'm actually going to use just pink crayon with this one. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that the crayon's pushed in there nicely. And every bit's covered in resin. And it's laying as flat as I can get it. There we go. I'll just pop a bit more resin in there to bring it up to the top. And the other one I want to test is these pendants here. But with these, I'm going to be just using, again, a mixture of colours just to see what they come out like. And I'm going to have enough left over to do the oval ones. Definitely want a bit of yellow in that one. And definitely a little bit of black as well to kind of just pick out the colours. Move that about a bit. We'll just fill that one up. Yeah, so I have got enough left. I'm just going to make a few more. So there we go. What we'll do is I'll leave these to cure up now. These have all cured now and I'm really interested to see how they're going to come out. From what I can see is it didn't melt the crayon, which is great news. So let's have a look at this. Oh, I love how that bangle has come out. Oh, what about you? What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think of that. I think it's come out really well. I love the crayon in there. So let's have a quick look at the other one. That's the drop pendant from that mould. And again, that has come out lovely. So let's just take these out and then we can have a look at these. Oh, the all pink one, I think, has come out really well. And so is the black and white one. And the backs are actually really smooth. And for some reason, I did I did kind of slightly overfill. It's cured and there's no dome on that one. Well, there's no dome on any of them. I don't know if this is the way it's crayon. I think that is my favourite one. And I just love the way the black and the yellow really plays off each other on that one. And that one. Not sure what colour that is, as I'm colour blind. Is that blue? I think it's blue and the other two came out really well as well i'll definitely be making more resin jewelry using crayons because i think they come out just really really well so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to test to see how well it drills because once it drills into the crayon it might not be secure so i've got my small drill bit in my dremel and so let's just see how that's going to drill yeah well it's drilled that out okay so I've made that up now as well, and I think it looks really great. By the way, I have a video on how to make these up. Check it out at the end of this video. I think it really sets that off, and it has worked exceptionally well by using the crayon and then drilling a little hole in and then putting the little screw hook in. When it comes to making up your jewellery pieces, it's easy to mess it up and ruin the resin piece you've worked hard on. The video on the screen right now covers how to make up your jewellery. So you're going to want to click that video to see how to do it easily with no mess ups. Check it out now. Um.